In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a image like this. Um, I'll be showing you how to make uh, a picture look like it's uh, kind of disintegrating into these splatters. And I was inspired to make this tutorial by a Photoshop, oops, Photoshop tutorial that I saw. And um, the Photoshop tutorial has a much better result, the picture that they included. I didn't really read it too thoroughly, but I just looked at the picture and thought I should make something like it. So go ahead and open up an image that you want to use. Uh, this image is a good example because it looks like the person's moving, kind of, sort of. Now, once you have your image rendered and everything, if you don't know how to render an image, and by that I mean remove the background from it, so that's just that, um, then please watch my how to render an image tutorial. I'll put an annotation somewhere on the screen. Now, once you have that done, just right-click on the layer with the uh, image and select Add Layer Mask. Then select Black Full Transparency and then select, select Add. Now your image should disappear, um, and that's normal. And actually, before you um, add the layer mask, you might want to duplicate that layer. So go ahead and du duplicate that and lower the opacity of the duplicated layer just a little. I forgot to mention that, sorry. Um, I lowered the opacity down to 22. Now again, add a layer mask to the lower layer. Again, black full, tra black full transparency. And uh, the reason I duplicated the layer is now you can see this kind of outline of it and you can kind of see where the layer is. Now make sure your foreground color is on white and just grab a pretty big brush and what we're going to do is just kind of reveal, uh, paint some of that area white so that you reveal some of the image. Um, now you can, you will need lots and lots of different splatter brushes for this tutorial. So go ahead, I will try to find some links to some good splatter brushes and I'll put them in the description if I can find all of the ones that I'm using. I will try to include uh, all the ones that I'm using in this tutorial. So now what you're going to need to do is just spend a lot of time slowly painting away at this so that it slowly looks like it was uh, splattered. And once you're kind of almost done with that uh, you can what you can do is to make the effect look even cooler is take your eyedropper tool and just select a color from you know around this area let's say this green color and then take another splatter brush and make it look like um, there's just some you know wisps of paint coming off. So that's what I did uh, for <clears throat> for these areas right here and right here. I just uh, took my I just took like white, just set my foreground colors white and then just kind of took a brush and painted it. So yeah, I hope this tutorial helped and sorry if that was a kind of bad explanation. I hope you understand how to do this effect. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. And I apologize for not having a decent tutorial for a while. I hope this one makes up for that.